So I, I'm Craig Chels, I'm the CEO of Tactus Technology. Uh, what we do at Tactus is we've, we've created the world's first tactile touchscreen. So what is a tactile touchscreen? Well, I can demonstrate it with this tablet. This is a seven inch Android tablet where we've replaced the cover lens with our tactile layer solution. Uh, we've managed to maintain the same weight, thickness, dimensions of the, of the original tablet. But now what we've got with this tablet is the ability to make the touchscreen tactile. And in this demonstration, we, we create a, a portrait QWERTY keyboard. Our, our layer is controlled from within Android. So if we go into this application here, that is the standard note-taking app, and then we call up the keyboard, what happens is you get a physical tactile, tactile screen. So now you've got physical buttons, these buttons are about a millimeter tall, that come out of the touch screen. So now you've got physical keys that you can now type with, so you can get high speed, high accuracy typing, rather than having the challenges of, of, of a touch screen. And this, but this is a, just one example of what you can do. You can do more than physical keys, uh, sorry, than a QWERTY keyboard. You can also do gaming controls, really anything that you want. So this is really a design tool for the, for the OEMs to go off and create next generation user interfaces. Because you can create these, these, these tixels, these, tac this, these tactile buttons anywhere on, on, on the screen. But then when you're finished typing, the buttons disappear. It's, tie it's tied into the operating system. And then when you turn it off, the buttons recede back into the screen. Uh, and then you're back to having all the normal benefits of, of, of a touchscreen in terms of multi-touch multi and being able to, to consume media. What we've, we're using is a technology called Microfluidics. Microfluidics has been around for 10 or 20 years. It's how inkjet printers work. With, how we implement it is within this window, we actually have a series of, of channels that are filled full of fluid. But the way we, we engineer those channels and the fluid mean, allows them to be invisible. So running across the screen, we have all these invisible channels. And when we want buttons, what we do is we increase the fluid pressure and the fluid pressure causes the buttons to appear. Now, the benefit of doing it that way is, one, you can create real physical buttons that are of a, of a usable height, but the other thing that you get is, is you get a very power-efficient solution. We only consume battery power when you're changing state. So once the buttons are up and you're typing, there's no power consumption that's, that's due to our, our tactile there. That makes it, so that makes it a very efficient solution. And then when you turn it off, you, get a, you use a little bit of power to turn the buttons off. But once in static state, they're, they're, there's no power consumption. So what we're doing is we're replacing the cover lens and the cover glass. We're not the touch sensors, so we work with all the, all the available capacitive touch sensors that are in the market today, uh, and we easily integrate in, into that into the into the device. So it's a very simple solution. The, sof the software component is, 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 is straightforward. It's easy to integrate into any operating system, and allows the the, 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 the keyboard to appear at a, in any time from uh, control within the applications. This is sort of an advanced alpha going into beta next quarter. This will be moving into production, by it'll be qualified and in production at the end of this calendar year. And a first commercially available product should be shipping uh, first quarter next year. And that is, but we're not, we're not a tablet maker. We're, we're supplying this tactile touchscreen solution. Uh, we're working with the OEMs. It's the OEMs who are doing the integration of our solution into, the, into their products. And certainly now with, within the tablet market, there's a, what we're seeing is a real pool for what's next in terms of user interface. User interface is a key part of what helps products differentiate in the market. And by bringing a tactile touchscreen to market, you can imagine the, the, the advantage that that, that OEM is going to have in terms of, of positioning in the market with, the, with this new type of touchscreens.